This is the Words of Victory teaching ministry. My name is Rodney Pickford, and I'm so glad to have you here with us as we study the Word of God. Amen. Let's uh, start off by opening in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word, Father. Father God, we thank you that there is victory in your word, Father. And Father God, we're trusting in the Spirit of God to teach us how to apply this word to our lives, Father God. Father God, we just thank you that you're a good God, and we always thank you for your many, many blessings. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, glory to God. Now, we have been talking about the God kind of faith, amen. And, and just a little quick review uh, as to uh, what we talked about uh, in our last uh, 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 teaching here, uh, the last one we did. Uh, the God kind of faith <clears throat> is not like your faith. Amen. See, because see, you have the ability to doubt. Amen. See, just like you, you, you have the ability to believe God, see, you also have the ability to choose not to believe God. See? Amen. See? But now God's faith, there's no doubt there. See, God does not doubt. See, and God understands that what he says will come to pass. Amen. Glory to God. See, God, uh, 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 back in the book of Genesis, you guys know the story. Genesis, the first chapter, God said, light be. And what? Light was. Amen. See, you know, see, when God speaks, it happens, and it happens right now. Amen. Glory to God. See, and what God wants us, wants us to see, my brother, my sister, is that you and I can walk in the God kind of faith. Amen. Just like Jesus spoke to the fig tree over there in Mark 11. And he said that no man was going to eat from that tree uh, forever. Okay. And as the disciples passed by, they saw that tree dried up from the root. It, the tree was, was dead. <coughs> Excuse me. The tree was dead. Amen. Glory to God. See, because Jesus spoke a word to that fig tree. Okay. And said, nobody going to eat fruit of you anymore. Amen. See, so, you know, I, I guess the only thing left for the tree was to die. Amen. See, but see, when Jesus spoke, he knew that what he says will come to pass. Amen. Amen. And there was no doubt in him whatsoever. What he says will come to pass. Amen. And if you study the life of Jesus and his earthly ministry, that's the way he operated on this earth. He spoke something and it came to pass. He knew it was going to come to pass. Amen. Amen. See, now 
<clears throat> you and I, my brother, my sister, we can walk in the God kind of faith. Amen. See, we can speak a thing into existence. And if we don't have any doubt in our spirit, that thing will come to pass. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. See, Jesus says <coughs> in uh, verse uh, uh, 23 of Mark 11. Amen. Why don't we start right there? Verse 23 in Mark 11. Jesus says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Amen. Say, whosoever shall say to the mountain, not doubt in his heart, but believe what he says will come to pass. Jesus said, if you do it like that, you will have whatever you say. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now let's break that down a, 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 a minute. Amen. Jesus says, <clears throat> Whosoever shall say to the mountain, be removed. Amen. That's interesting. Say to the mountain, be removed. Glory to God. See, God removes. Ob obstacles. See, see the mountain of adversity. God removes that mountain. See, so many times God's people are trying to circumvent the mountain. They're trying to figure out a way to go around the mountain or, or, or figure out a way to climb the mountain. Even trying to figure out a way to go through the mountain. Amen. But see, God says, be removed and be thou cast into the sea. See, see about the only place I know of where you can put a mountain and, and not see that thing anymore is in the sea, in the ocean. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. See, see, God removes mountains. Amen. Glory to God. See, you know, I remember I was uh, 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 watching a old Western movie on TV and they were laying railroad tracks. And as they were doing that, uh, uh, they, they run up against a mountain. And uh, some of them, uh, they were trying to figure out well, how are we going to navigate this mountain? How are we going to move around this mountain or climb this mountain? Or are we even going to uh, just uh, uh, dig a tunnel through the mountain? See, and one of the cowboys in that movie said, you know, this, the, 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 this, situation would be so much easier if we could just remove the mountain. Amen. Amen. See, see, God's way is the easy way. Easy way. Remove the mountain. Amen. Glory to God. See, remove the mountain. Quit trying to deal with the mountain. Just remove it. Speak that thing uh, uh, out of existence speak that mountain of adversity 
out of your life. Remove the mountain. Amen. Glory to God. See, Jesus says, whosoever shall say to the mountain, be removed. See, see, then Jesus says, and shall not doubt in his heart. Amen. See, but believe that the things which he says shall come to pass. Amen. See, Jesus says, don't doubt in your heart. Don't have any doubt in your heart. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. See, doubt originates in your head, in your mind, in your thought process. See, and if you're not careful, the doubt that you have in your head will drip down into your spirit and contaminate your faith. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. See, see, you don't want doubt in your heart, in your spirit, because doubt will dilute, if you will, your faith. See, see, now how does doubt get in your heart? See, faith as of the heart. Faith originates in your spirit, but doubt originates in your head, in your mind, in your thought process. See, and what you want to do is you want to not let that doubt in your head get there in your spirit where it can uh, destroy your faith in some cases. Amen. Now, how does doubt get in your spirit? Amen. I'm going to ask you to turn your Bibles, if, if you will, to Matthew chapter 6. See, we're talking about the God kind of faith. Amen. Glory to God. <clears throat> now, I'm going to start reading Follow along with me. Amen. I hope you have your Bibles with you. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, uh, I'm going to start reading in the 26th verse of the chapter 6 of Matthew. Amen. See, the Bible says, Behold the fowls of the air, how they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? And which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto your stature? Jesus says, look at the, the, the fowls of the air. Look at the animals. Okay? They, 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 uh, uh, toy or not, uh, uh, they don't sow, okay, they, they, they don't uh, 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 get into the reaping process, uh, 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 gathering and, and storing things in a barn, but yet God takes care of them, amen? And, and God says, aren't you uh, uh, much more precious than them, amen? See, uh, uh, verse uh, <clears throat> 27 says, look, by taking thought, you, can add, you cannot add anything to you by taking thought, by worrying about stuff. Amen. Amen. See, you, you know, you, you, you can't do anything for yourself by worrying. Amen. See, that's what that means. Ver verse 28. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, their toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon and all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. 
Amen. Amen. See, God said, look at, look, look at the flowers. Okay? The flowers, they don't toil. Amen. Glory to God. See, and, and, and God takes care of them. Okay? Amen. See, they don't do anything to take care of themselves. God takes care of them. Amen. See, we're talking about the God kind of faith. And I want to show you how doubt in your head can get down into your spirit and contaminate your faith. Amen. Amen. Verse 30. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? See, if you worrying, you know, you are wallowing in doubt. See, you, 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 ha you have no faith. You, you are a person of little faith. Why? Because in instead of operating in faith, which is in your spirit, you're operating in doubt, which is in your head. Amen. See, and you can't get the word of God to work for you operating in doubt. Amen. See, that's why you don't want to... Uh, 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 put your thought process on what you be believe in God for. Amen. See, I'm going to show you here. Okay. Uh, uh, <clears throat> verse 31. Now, this is how doubt gets in your spirit. Therefore, take no thought saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewith shall we be clothed? See, take no thought saying. See, you take thought when you start speaking that stuff. Amen. See, and when you take it, you, 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 you own that thing. See, you let that doubt drop in your spirit by opening your mouth and speaking what you are thinking instead of speaking God's word. Amen. Amen. See, take no thought saying. See, you, you, you take ownership of what's in your mind when you start speaking it. Amen. I remember one time that uh, <clears throat> I uh, 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 needed a washer and dryer. And I went to uh, a store, uh, you know, looking at uh, a set and, and, and I found a washer and dryer that I liked. But the problem was I didn't have the money for it. Say, and the salesman explained to me that very often, uh, you know, different makes and models are discontinued, and we really like this set. And so, to make sure we could get this washer and dryer, what I did was I put it in layaway. Say and the, the salesman said, you know, yeah, put it in lay, lay away and and you know we'll just take it in the back and put it in the warehouse and you know when you get through paying on it, this would be the set you'll get. Say and so now if they discontinue it, it's no big deal for you because we have your washer and dryer stored back in the warehouse. Amen. Say, so I did that. Amen. Say, and, and what would happen 
is someone would ask me uh, uh, quite often, uh, well, how much do you owe on uh, the, the washer and dryer set? Uh, when, when, when do you figure that you will be able to uh, pay everything you owe and get it out of, out of layaway? Say, you used to ask me that pretty frequently, say, and I didn't want to talk about it, say. You know, I, didn't want, I did not want to know how much I owed on it, say. I, 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 you know, I, I just didn't want to know that. I, I didn't want to think about when I was going to get it out of layaway. Amen. Because see that that those are thoughts in my head. See, and my head's thinking, well, you know, boy, that's a good washer and dryer. That thing costs money. That's a lot of money. Uh, boy, I don't know when uh, uh, we're gonna be able to get that out. See, that's that's what's in my head. See, and I don't want that getting down into my spirit. Can you understand that? See, so I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I really don't care how much I owed on it. The only time those things are of interest to me is when I know, hey, I'm going to get this thing out. I'm going to get this thing out and, and, and you know, I, I mean, it's going to be in my basement in a matter of, of a, a day or, or, or something like that, you see, you know, but, you know, up until that time, look, I, you know, paid on it what I could and so forth. And I don't need to know. I don't need to talk about how much I owe on it or how long is it going to be before I receive it because my faith is working and my faith says by faith in the name of Jesus, I got the washer and dryer right now. It's in my basement. Glory to God. It's serving my house. Glory to God. Amen. I got a vision of that washer and dryer in my basement, washing and drying my clothes. Amen. See, now, and if, if I started talking about it from my mind's point of view, what's going, going to happen is my mind's going to say, hey, but you know what? That's a lot of money. Boy, it's going to take a long time before you can get this thing out of hock. Amen. See? You know, because, boy, that you know, the, the way you paying on it, man, it'll be forever before you get that thing out. See, see, that's what my mind would think. So I don't want to talk about it unless I'm talking faith. Can you understand me? See, this is the God kind of faith. Talk what you want. I want it right now. Amen. So the only thing I got to say is by faith in the name of Jesus, I believe I receive that thing right now. Right now, by faith in the name of Jesus, I believe I receive right now. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. See, see that, 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 that's where I want to keep my focus on. I don't want to think about it from the standpoint of what my mind has to say. See, if you believe in God for something, I know a, a, lot, a lot of you uh, 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 that get the, this here CD, uh, you hear this on the radio, uh, but you know, however you hear this, I know that a lot of you, you believe in God for healing in your body. Amen. See, you know, well, you know, start speaking over your body what it is you want from the word of God. Look, the word says, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. Amen. See, I believe I receive my healing right now. 
by faith in the name of Jesus. I'm healed in my body. I'm healed of this high blood pressure or diabetes or, or whatever the condition might be. I believe I receive my healing right now. Father, your word says, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So I believe I receive my healing right now in the name of Jesus. I believe I receive it, therefore I have. And, and, you know, now what you do, you get into a, a prayer of thanksgiving. Father, I thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm healed in my body. Now, your body might be telling you something altogether different. Your body might be telling you you're in pain. Your body might be telling you you're hurt. Amen. And, you know, you believe in God for to, to be cured of high blood pressure and the blood pressure readings are off the chart. They sky high. That's all right. I'm speaking what the word says. Don't talk about your high blood pressure. Talk about what God says concerning your high blood pressure. Amen. See, this is the God kind of faith. See, that's what we're talking about. Amen. See, God says you healed. God sees you healed. Get a vision of yourself being healed. Amen. Glory to God. See, glory to God. I'm healed in my body. Amen. The word says God sent his word and healed me and delivered me from affliction. I receive that word in me right now in the name of Jesus and my body will have to line up with the word of God. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now people all around you are calling you sick, but what do you call yourself? That's the important thing. I don't care what they say. Okay, what do I say? I say what God says about me. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. See, see, speak the word of God. Speak what you want. See, and you want the same thing God wants. Amen. See, you know, somebody out there, you know, I, you, you, maybe you believe in God. You need a car. See, you ain't got a car, okay? And, and, and cold winter days, it, 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 you know, you out there catching the bus and freezing. Amen. See, and you need a car. You want a car. See, amen. See, God said, look, what things you desire, you desire. Amen. See, it didn't say what God desire is okay i'm looking at matthew eleven twenty four. what things soever you desire when you pray believe that you receive and you shall have amen glory to god i believe i receive my car Amen. And you might be still right there standing at the bus stop, waiting on the bus, and I mean, shivering. Because it's cold. It's below zero outside. But you got to get where you got to get to. Amen. Glory to God. But I'm still speaking the word of God. I ain't speaking what's going on around me. I ain't speaking what I'm going through. I, I'm speaking what God says, and God's word will change what you're going through. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. I hope I'm helping somebody. Amen. Glory to God. See, this is the God kind of faith. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. See, see, Jesus says... <coughs> 
but believe that the things what she says shall come to pass. Okay? See, believe. You have to believe that what you say shall come to pass. See, you, you speak the word over your situation and you do it by faith in the name of Jesus, by faith in what God said in his word. Amen. See, the Bible tells us in Hebrews, the fourth chapter that uh, talks, talks about the word not profiting the saints of old because it was not mixed with faith in them that heard it. So you speak the word and you believe this word. Amen. Amen. Say, so, see, so speak the word over your situation, my brother, my sister, and believe the word. Have the God kind of faith. You speak God's word and you just know. You, there's no doubt on the inside of you. You know that God's word will come to pass for you. Amen. Amen. See, see, don't doubt in your heart. But believe that the things you say will come to pass. See, the, the, Jesus said that man will have whatever he says. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. See, that man, the man who believes and don't doubt, and he's speaking what he believes. Jesus said that man will have whatsoever he saith. Amen. Glory to God. See, that's the God kind of faith. Amen. Glory to God. I really believe that the saints of God are getting this. Amen. If you can just get this in your heart. Amen. If you can just start to apply the word. Walking in the God kind of faith. It'll change your life. Glory to God. It'll take you from being a pauper. Okay. To being a prince. Glory to God. It will take you. The word of God. Mixed with the God kind of faith. Will take you from living in a shack. To living in a palace. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. See we talking about the God kind of faith. Amen. Glory to God. The, 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 the 23rd Psalm and the first verse and, and Psalms, the first chapter, verses one through three. These are good scriptures to, to, to confess, uh, speak over your life in faith. See, see, they're good script, scriptures. Amen. See, you can confess these scriptures. You can speak these scriptures in your situation and you do it in the God kind of faith. Amen. L let's look at the 23rd Psalm. Psalms 23. Amen. Let's go there. The 23rd Psalm. Glory to God. And we're going to look at the, the, the very first verse. Psalms 23, the first verse. Amen, glory to God. The word says, <clears throat> The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. Say, you speak that word in your life by faith. See, and, and you might be walking around in lack, in poverty. You might be walking around in need, in want. And by faith, by the God kind of faith in Jesus, glory to God, this scripture will come true in your life. Amen. Amen. See, faith 
is what activates the word of God in your life. Amen. See, you you can just quote the Bible, but you if you don't have faith, it, it ain't going to do anything for you. But see, faith and what God said in his word. Oh, glory to God. Faith in what God says in his word. The God kind of faith. Okay. See, God's faith is so strong that he knows. There ain't no doubt in him. He knows that what he says will come to pass. See, you can take this scripture and know the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I know by faith, I know that this scripture is real in my life. Amen, glory to God. See, I know this thing is working. Amen, glory to God. See, faith in the name of Jesus, the God kind of faith. Amen, glory to God. See, makes this scripture real in your life. Makes this scripture alive in your life. It comes to pass in your life. And all of a sudden, you find yourself in a position where you ain't lacking nothing. And if you need something, you have it. And the desires of your heart are being fulfilled in your life because you walking in the God kind of faith. Amen. Glory to God. Look at the first Psalm. The first Psalm. And we are going to look at, at the verses one through three. <clears throat> Amen. The word says blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. See, the word says, blessed is the man that ain't uh, uh, consorting with heathens. Amen. Uh, uh, you know, he ain't hanging out with sinners. OK, and and, you know, he's not sitting in the seat of the scornful or, or, or he he's he's not sitting around arguing with folks. Amen. Say verse two. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and and night. See, this is a blessed man. Okay? See, this, a blessed man, he's living holy. He's living in the righteousness that has been bestowed in him when he accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. Amen. See, and his delight, what he wants to do is what God wants. See, but, it, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. His delight is in the word. His delight is in the word of God. See, and in the word doth he meditate day and night. Amen. Amen. See, this is a blessed man. Glory to God. See, Joshua 1, 8 says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. See, and, and God told Joshua to do this, and then God said, then, <clears throat> you, you know, when you, you have meditated this word, you know, you, you constantly speak in this word. You don't, you don't stop speaking the word. Okay? You do this, this word with all that lies within you. God said, then you will make you, you will. Amen. See, it didn't say God will. It said you will 
make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. See, that's the key to victory. The word of God is the key to victory, my brother, my sister. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Verse 3 says, see, the blessed man, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. See, this is the blessed man. He should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You know, a, a, a tree planted by the waters, man, that, that tree will live a thousand years because he has an endless supply of water in that river. Amen. Now, how many know the roots of a tree? Man, they look, they, they go of uh, 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 a couple of hundred feet. Uh, uh, the, root, the roots of a tree could be a mile underground. See? And they, they, they just get all the water they need. Amen. See? Tree will live a thousand years. Glory to God. Say, amen. Glory to God. Say, the blessed man, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. See, in other words, look, you know, the, the tree is, is, is functioning just the way it is supposed to. Okay, it's, it's bearing fruit just the way it is supposed to. Good fruit in his season. Good fruit when it is supposed to. Amen, amen. See, you see, he says, his leaf also shall not wither. In other words, this tree ain't never going to die. He's right there by the river get all, uh, getting all the water he needs getting plenty of sunlight, he ain't never going to die. Amen. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. This tree is always going to be vibrant. This tree is always going to be uh, 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 strong, always going to have good fruit. Amen. Whatever. See, this is the blessed man my brother, my sister. Amen. A amen. See, see, a blessed man is like this. Okay, whatever you set your hands to prospers. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. See, this is the God kind of faith. This is what happens when you operate in the God kind of faith. Amen. See, and the God kind of faith is what you need to operate efficiently in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. See, because you sow the word in faith. See, and you reap in faith. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. See, you sow God's word and you know that word will come to pass. Amen, because you do it in faith. You sow the word in the God kind of faith. I sow the word and I know it, it, it's working. I know it work. I have, uh, uh, you, you, you know, I, I have the hundredfold return. Amen. Glory to God. See, we'll talk some more about this uh, in our next session I thank you for being with me here at this time. If you would like a copy of this teaching on CD, uh, just write me. Words of Victory Ministries, Post Office Box 1524, Buffalo, New York, 14226. Amen. And uh, uh, be sure to 
include uh, uh, contact information, your address, uh, phone numbers, and uh, things like that there. You can also email me at wordsofvictory19 at gmail.com. Amen. Glory to God. You know, if, if so, if you want a, a copy of this teaching of the last session we have, I am giving them away free of charge. I'm going to do that for as long as I can because I want you to get the word in your spirit. Amen. And see what I like about CDs and and videos and things as I can hear this thing over and over and over and I can pick apart what the man or woman of God uh, is teaching. Amen. And really get an understanding of this. Amen. So again, the 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 uh, uh, CDs are available to you. My name is Rodney Pickford here at Words of Victory Ministries, Post Office Box 1524, Buffalo, New York, 14226. We're right here in the good old U.S. of A. because I know this uh, 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 teaching is going all over the world. Amen. Glory to God. You can email us at wordsofvictory19 at gmail.com. Amen. Again, it's, it's, it's good to have this opportunity to be with you. Remember that I love all of you and Jesus loves you more. Until next time, God bless.